Hi, welcome to my tutorial. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and put uh, Easy Populate for Zencart on a uh, customer's server. Uh, he's opening up a store and uh, he's going to sell a whole bunch of stuff that he's buying from a wholesale drop shipper. And what I've done is I've downloaded uh, uh, Easy Populate version 1.2.5.4 zip and I've unzipped the files and the unzipped files are right here. You're going to get admin, temp, and a few others. And then I've already FTP'd to the customer's site and uh, I'm within his changed admin directory. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take the files from admin, which are the include and the easy populate file, and send those to the renamed admin file of uh, the Zen cart. So all that's up there and then what we're going to do is there's a temp directory. I want to go back up to main cart directory of the store and I'm going to send up the temp directory and install SQL and let's see if you want you can put history uh, if you put license it's going to overwrite license I've got a few other files there that I was just uh, working around on another site with uh, and what this does is it enables you to load literally thousands of records from uh, say if you have a drop ship supplier and you want to get involved in doing some of that you can uh, upload thousands of records at a time from there so uh, let's see what's this big file oh generated list okay I didn't mean for that to go up there that's one of the files I'm going to be using to populate his cart with but uh, I should have opened that up anyway I'll pause Okay, the files we need are now up there, so I'm going to go ahead and close out that. And I'm going to go to my customers admin panel. And now under tools, I should actually have to refresh that. So let's see. There it's refreshed. And you'll see Easy Populate shows up on the bottom. So you just click on Easy Populate and uh, then it's going to give you a warning saying about configuration so you just click the configuration warning and it'll say install was successful and that it downloaded a file for you to use as a template uh, now we won't get into that in this part of this tutorial because it's uh, it's pretty long and involved but what I'm going to do right now is uh, well before we even get to that I'll show you the front of the customer's cart right now has absolutely nothing in there under categories special featured products all products I've taken I, I did install the sample data with Zen cart but I've disabled all of that for the purposes of this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and browse to my file where uh, where I have the pre-made uh, that I've taken the data down from from the wholesaler and uh, made that into a format that I could use. So uh, let's see which, which directory I put that in. Okay, right here. And let's see. Easy populate. Okay. And I know that my files are in a temp directory and I made a short list with nine items in it because a nine item list you can figure out what's going on so now I've got my list I've browsed to that's already been made and I'll cover how to make that list in another tutorial it's pretty long and involved and I'm just gonna see if it'll insert into the database and we can see that we've successfully inserted nine records so if we go back over to uh, this right here these categories should populate a bit when I uh, refresh the cart now.
Okay, we see that we have some items in here. Now I haven't uploaded any photos yet, so uh, the photos are there's about 27,000 uh, photos in the in the way the files are laid out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back here. I've already laid out the files that I need for the entire site, and there's over 2,000 products involved here. And so I've just put in uh, file number one and I've hit the insert button and it's going through its thing and if everything works out successfully we'll get a big long line of these uh, green things down here that say that new products were added and then there will be one red at the end. That's ideally what we want to see. And uh, we see updated which is blue. Those were the nine that I already put in. And as you go down the scroll all the way down here, we can see we've got a thousand products in there now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and browse to the file, and I'm going to take file number two and insert that in. And this is pretty neat because this way you can set up a cart, and if you've got a wholesale drop shipper that you're doing business with, and they're you know pretty reasonable, you can set up a cart in literally a day that's got thousands of products on it. I've already set uh, my testing card up uh, with the testing data and I'll show you that right now and as you can see here uh, there's 154 apparel, barbecue, bedding, this, that, and the other and if we click on bedding uh, not all of my images loaded for some reason especially in the uh, the way they have the images set up, they have sizes for certain clothing items and uh, they don't correspond with the actual uh, what they're supposed to. Okay, it looks like our second batch of files is up. So now we'll go to the site which was empty just a few minutes ago and uh, I'll refresh it. You'll see here's the nine items I had put in and when I refresh the cart, now you'll see that there's over 2,000 items in the cart. Uh, this is especially useful uh, if you're going to uh, use a cart in the way you know where you where you get from a whole get all your stuff from a wholesaler. But what I like about this cart, and I just love doing this, is you you can. Uh, tweet of course I'm not signed into Twitter but uh, yeah if you want to just go ahead and knock this video out that's that's about as uh, far as you have to go with it but this is just something neat that I wanted to show you with with the way I put carts together is that you can uh, go to a part of the cart uh, for example here under tools you can see who's online should be just one person which is me. Now watch what happens when I uh, tweet. I'm going to tweet this product here. Pull that over this window. Oops, your tweet has over 140 characters. Hmm. Okay. So we want to take some of that out. First things never happen as fast as they're supposed to when you're actually uh, trying to accomplish something on on a tutorial. Anyway, I'll just do two of these real quick and we can see what's going on from there. Alright, now we go back to here where it says who's online and refresh list and you can see we have 26 robots running through there. This is real good for getting stuff into Google and all that. Uh, so it's a real interesting scenario using Easy Populate to fill up your uh, shopping cart on your website. And I'll be making some more tutorials about Zencart and how to populate. And also I'll have another tutorial up in the next few days about how to make that file that uh, comes from your wholesaler and and that way you can upload all of your products. Thank you for stopping by and I hope this helped and uh, 
uh, please stop by my site lenfarneth.com and uh, I have tutorials I'm putting up there and links to uh, some very useful information as far as being able to uh, to do this stuff. Thanks. Have a great night.